We are working on our Land Rover Discovery Sport and in this video we are going to remove the scuttle panel which is this panel that goes below the windscreen and in doing so we are going to remove the strut brace, the battery cover, the windscreen wipers, the we'll show you how to remove the washer jets if you need to do that and the windscreen pillar trims. Right let's have a start shall we Destiny what are you going to go first? Yeah, go on then, get all those little peripherals. So basically we've got to get all these little peripherals. So we've got these little two part clips where you just unscrew the top cross bit and you've got these two part. And then that, that, that air, that's the air intake pipe. That just sort of rams into the, the little mouth there. Just sort of pushes in. Right, then the battery cover's coming off. Same clips, bush, bush. Yeah, sometimes just leave it like that, Destiny, and pull the cover up with it. Do the others. If they don't want to come, oh, that, one's, that come. one's come. I bet you if you just pull that whole cover up, it, it'll come with it. Go on, it'll come with it. It'll pling for miles, but you will right, try them again. There you go. Plingage. Bam. Right, battery cover off. Boof. Right, so now we could get the strut brace off now. So on each end of the strut brace, we've covered the screws orange. Yours won't be the bolts. Um, they are 13 millimeter sockets, right? Well, Destiny does that. I'll put those. Ooh. Bam! Let's bring the pot over. Look, this will be all organised. Be efficient. Right. Well, wow. so there you go. So that's the bolt. They've got an integral washer, 13 millimeter. So there's two on that side, and then there's two on this side. So Destiny will get on and do those, and then we'll show you how to remove the strut brace. Okay, it's the final bit of that. Right, and that just lifts out. It's got some sort of rubber trim and it tucks under, tucks under there at that side. Ooh, Ooh. ah, yes, there is an extra sneaky clip there. Right, there's an extra sneaky clip at the back there. So you should be able to unscrew the bottom and then just maybe just pull the panel, or oh, there we go. So that's one of these two part rivet -y things. They're a bit rubbish, but they normally work. And there you go, and then indeed your strut brace is off right so there are some more fittings under there should we do those while you've got a screwdriver in your hand yep. yep so so these are obviously covered by the strut brace which is why we have to remove it now what destiny's doing there she's putting her hand underneath to stop the fitting and squeeze it because sometimes the screw threads aren't enough to bite there you go like it's doing now there you go and then it'll come out of your event and then you should better just pull that out that one's ready. Okay, got one here. They're a bit rubbish, but they're okay. Good they don't they don't rust. Um, right, so that's it. Right now we can do the windscreen pillar trim. So do you reckon you want a tool for this, or do you reckon just pull with you? Um, but I reckon it might be easier to start at the top. I don't know. What do you reckon? I don't know. I don't know. I don't yeah, I went for the bottom, but it's got that clip at the bottom. I worry about that clip at the bottom. Now, we've had this out, so bear in mind, but you can basically work it out. But don't bend it too much. You want to gradually, as long as you've got one bit out, work it along. Now, there is a clip in this bottom bit. I'll show you, and it, it, it clips in there. So you can pull it out from the bottom. I just try, and it, it just sort of, there's a little blade in here that this yeah, sort I of, that it sort of, Grip. Yeah, we snapped it earlier, look. But that was when we were practicing. We're pros now. Right, so we got, right, get the other one of those off then. Yeah. So again, top or bottom, wherever you can get in. Bear in mind, we've practiced this, because we like to look good. Yours will be a bit more stinky and moss ridden and generally rubbish. So there's two of those. Right, now I think we're on to the windscreen wipers. So on the windscreen wipers, you've got a nut underneath here, but it's, it's hidden by this cap here. So if I get out, I'll come from the top, look, and then you just got to get a little screwdriver to take the plastic cap, like a magic hand appears from under the bonnet, look. There we go. And there we go. So we've got these little claps, caps that go on, and they expose these 15 millimeter nuts here. So we've got a 15 millimeter socket on there okay so these are on a conical spline Boop. okay so you, you might as well get them both get them both off destiny then 
And then we'll, there's a little bit of a trick to getting these, these off. Boop. So you have to sort of take the pressure off the spring and then wiggle this, this section here. You have to wiggle it to sort of work it off this spline. So you have to sort of w wiggle that backwards and forwards while keeping this off. That's it. There you go. That, that sounded good. <laughs> Is it? Uh, yeah. like, like, like. This springy spring. There you go. Right, so that's that one off. Um, so they are different, the two blades. And tip, I clean my windscreen. Don't clean your windscreen because then you'll see exactly where the blades went. I, I clean the windscreen for the video to look good. Right, so. So that's the driver's one. If you put the passenger one next to it, you can see the passenger one has a slightly shorter elbow. The driver's side has the long elbow. Right, so we are looking good now, aren't we? I think, are we ready to take that panel off now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you loosen your end first. So there's a little rubber, this is rubber, this bit here. Um, so that should stay in place. And then you're, you're lifting it over the, right? And if I do the same at my, at my side, right now, you'll find you can't quite get it out, it's too long. So what you need to do is sort of arch it in the middle, right, to, to bow it, and then it will come out then. And if you, oh, connector, right. So we do have, on this model, we don't have many deluxe features on this one, do we? So, but it does have heated washer jets. So we have got the washer hose going, but we also have heated washer jets. Um, so yeah, we've got to push that, <laughs> if you push it in, that's it, and then whoop. So that releases that one, but is it only, Hold on, oh, that's if you want to remove the washer jet. And then the washer jets, you can actually just sort of pull them out. Do you want to have a go at wriggling? You have to sort of rock them side to side. And they do come out. They're held in with these. Um, but then obviously to get to that connector, if you want to change them, you've got to do that. And then they've got this little fitting that we haven't quite worked out yet, have we? It's sort of, we levered it, uh, that grey collar. We, I think you have to put your... I think you have to push it, the grey collar, that way. Isn't that what we reckon, Destiny? Yeah, down towards, down towards the... the nozzle. Um, and that will pull off, if you want to take those off. Um, what else, what else? Right, if you want to, what's, what's... So it all comes down to a connector here. So you've got a water connector. Right, now you could leave it there. Now, why are you taking this off? You may need to change your wiper motor. You may need to change your servo, your brake. You may need to change your windscreen. Um, I forgot, we, we're trying to trace a washer jet issue. But we thought we'd video it and show you guys and girls. Did you want to do that? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one was a bit of a, a bit of a pig, wasn't it? Um, I stabbed myself last time I did this. All right, and then we, we tried to just push that collar up a bit. There you go, that worked. Actually, that worked remarkably well. And then there's an electrical connector in there. Can, we, can you push on the top of that? That's it. Push on the top. There's a little squeezy thing. Right. There you go. So you've got to pull, push on, push on that little connector. It's not focusing there. You push on that little bit there, and that'll release that. And that is the scuttle panel released. So you can clean everything up, check everything, replace your windscreen. So we're getting a new windscreen fitted by John's Windscreens on Friday, aren't we, Destiny? Um, and then we're ready for our MOT retest. So John's going to have to do this. We might not put this back together, make it easy for him. Right, hope you found that helpful.